Welcome to 3T Wisdom Wave, presented by Triumph Through Training. I am Rajan Arora, and today we shall discuss the importance of teamwork, emphasized through a short story, an old one with a new twist. Everyone knows about the story of tortoise and the hare. What most people don't know is that there are several valuable lessons on teamwork to be learned from it. I have divided it into four parts today. Long time ago, there was a tortoise and a hare that had an argument about who the fast runner was. They finally decided to take on one another on a race. As the race started, the hare sprinted ahead briskly for some time, realizing that it will take some time for tortoise to catch up with him. He decided to seek shelter from the sun under a tree before continuing the race. As he sat under the tree, he gradually fell asleep. The tortoise crawling at a steady pace eventually overtook him and won the race. The hare woke up and realized that his complacency cost him the trophy. The moral of the story, determined, hardworking and steady paced people will eventually overtake the fast but complacent. We have all grown up with this version of the story, let's say part 1. Now part 2. The hare realized that he was overconfident, complacent and took things too easily. He decided to have a rematch with the tortoise. The tortoise accepted his challenge. This time the hare ran with all his might and didn't stop until he crossed the finish line. The moral of the story, fast and consistent will always beat the slow and steady. Part 2 ends here. But the story doesn't. Now here part 3. This time it was tortoise that did the soul searching and he realized that if the hare didn't stop, there is no way he'll beat him. He thought hard and decided on a different course and he challenged the hare to another rematch. The hare of course, confident of its victory, agreed. With the lessons learned from his previous failure in mind, the hare kept on running once the race started and didn't stop until the route led him to the bank of a river. He was taken by a surprise and he did not know what to do since he could not swim. There were no bridges in sight and no one to ask for directions. As he was whacking his brain, thinking of ways to cross the river, the tortoise strolled slowly along, dived into the river, swam across it and ultimately finished the race before the hare. The moral of the story, know your strengths and take on your competitors in the areas of your core competency. Part 3 ends here. But the story still hasn't ended. Part 4 With the hare and the tortoise spending so much time together racing, they had become rather good friends. They developed mutual respect for one another as they realized that they were both different and had different strengths. They decided to race again, but this time as a team. As the race started, the hare carried the tortoise and they sped to the river bank. There, they switched positions and the tortoise ferried the hare across the river. On the opposite bank, the hare again carried the tortoise and they crossed the finishing line together. They completed the race in record time that both of them could never have achieved if they had to do it alone. They also felt a greater sense of satisfaction that they had felt earlier. The moral of the story, it's good to be individually brilliant and to have strong core competencies. But unless you are able to work in a team and harness each other's core competencies, you'll always perform below par because there will always be situations at which you'll do poorly and someone else does well. Part 4 of the story ends here. Now, let's relate the story to our work life. Teamwork is mainly about situational leadership. 
letting the person with relevant core competency for a situation take leadership being supportive team members is necessary for a team to advance there are more lessons on teamwork to be learned from this story note that neither the hare nor the tortoise gave up after failures the hare decided to work harder and put in more effort after his failure the tortoise changed his strategy because he was already working as hard as he could but was not doing as well as he wished in this day and age when the environment changes at lightning speed we have learned to work with people who have strengths in areas that we do not have to summarize one never give up when faced with failure two fast and consistent will always beat slow and steady three work on your core competencies four compete against the situation not against a rival five pooling resources and working as a team will always beat individual performers embrace diversity recognize and leverage the unique talents and pers perspectives of each team member six communicate effectively maintain open and clear communication within your team ensuring that everyone is aligned with the common goal and aware of their roles and responsibilities seven support one another offer encouragement and support to your teammates especially during challenging times remember we are stronger than we uh, we are stronger together than we are alone number 8 stay focused on your goals and continue making steady progress even in the face of distractions or obstacles as we conclude let's remember the words of helen keller alone we can do so little together we can do so much that's all for today's episode of 3t wisdom wave until next time keep moving forward together one step at a time Thank you.